is Kazakhstan a Muslim country? Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Kazakhstan is about 70% of the Kazakh people are Muslims. Allah. And uh, they just say they're Muslims, but they don't actually practice the religion. And uh, how do you say it in like the hijab? Yes, they call it the hijab. Yeah. So uh, the hijab are not allowed in schools, like the government. Uh, the last time I was reading the news, the government banned the hijab. So, uh, you cannot wear the hijabs in schools, like the hijabs are not allowed in schools. Of course you can wear the hijabs on the street, but the hijabs are banned. The hijabs are not allowed in schools. Most of the Kazakh people don't practice Islam, they just say we're Muslim, they don't actually practice the religion uh, most of them drink alcohol, alcohol if you're muslims you don't if, if you're muslim you don't have to drink alcohol so most of them but most of them drink alcohol some of them even eat pork so if you're muslims it's, it's really i've seen a muslim yeah he said he was a muslim and the next thing he was making shashlik pork he was roasting uh, pork meat. I'm like, are you not Muslim? I was like, ah, ni Muslima, ya Muslima, tojo. He's like, ya Muslima, pisad na pisad. I'm like, how can you say you're 50 Muslim and 50? I don't understand. If you're Muslim, you're Muslim. You cannot be 50% uh, Muslim and decide when you want to be Muslim and decide when you don't want to be Muslim. So I was like, why are you eating pork? A Muslim supposed to eat pork, it was like, I'm Muslim, sometimes I'm Muslim, sometimes. So, hijabs are not allowed, It's I think it's in the law or something, hijabs are not allowed in school. And uh, in Kazakhstan, you don't see, you rarely, it's really rare to see a woman uh, wear hijab or cover her hair. It's not, uh, it's something which is uncommon. So, I can say that, uh, let's say... 70% of the Kazakh people identify. Identifying as a Muslim is different from saying you're actually a Muslim. So let's say 70 of them identify as a Muslim and let's say 20% or even 15% of the people actually practice the religion. You can identify, you can say you're something, but if you don't practice it, then it means nothing. I think so. So one thing I like about Kazakhstan is, you know, religion is not really a big deal for them it's not really a big deal you can be a muslim nobody cares you can practice the religion nobody cares they don't really take religion as something really big or religion is not like or religion doesn't bring a problem between both of them uh, i mean religion doesn't bring a problem in kazakhstan for example in some countries religion brings a lot of big problems what you kazakh people have i don't know if there's christianity in kazakhstan i don't know if there's christianity i'm not sure i've it's really rare or it's really difficult to see a Christian. I've been in this country for almost two years now and I've seen a Christian just once. So we don't have a lot of, I don't know if there's even actually Christians. So, so Islam in Kazakhstan, it's practice. Just with few people, just fewer people practice Islam, very few people. And few people, few women cover their hair actually most of the women in Kazakhstan actually go to clubs, they smoke, they drink alcohol, they do all lot of sort of things. And when it's time for Ramadan or when it's time for fasting, that's when you see few of them actually, just few percent of them, you know, back to the, you know, start fasting. So when most of the Kazakh, even sometimes you can even see women who cover hijab and see them and you see them, you know, I, could, I don't know if it's true but in Islam I think music is not allowed I think music is haram or something but even the women who cover them for it, themselves with hijab Lada Lada is saying hello even the women who cover themselves with uh, hijab they also some of them also drink alcohol and some of them also go to the nightclub there was a time when I saw on the news and I saw some women who covered their hair and they went to the nightclub and they were dancing and I'm like, are you seriously, are you really a Muslim? Because if you're Muslim, you don't have to go to the nightclub <laughs> with your hair covered like that as a Muslim. So I can say 
Kazakhstan it's not like 100% Muslim Kazakhstan is not a Muslim country it's a secular country it's a secular country and I don't know why the government doesn't allow I don't know why the government doesn't allow people to or kids or people to cover their hair at schools you cannot cover your hair with hijab in in a Kazakh school it's not allowed I don't know why I've been asking myself this question because a lot of them like even the president of Kazakhstan is also Muslim and I don't know why why they don't cover themselves I think I, according to my research I heard it was during the Soviet era uh, during the Soviet era religion was banned I think religion was refused or religion was you know if you if you're Muslim or if you practice some sort of religion it was uh, it was refused so that's why you see very few Kazakh I don't know if religion is good or is bad religion is actually good but extremist is bad yeah I can say that I can say that so in Kazakhstan very few people practice the religion and I think religion I like the fact that in Kazakhstan they have just one religion like but we have Kazakhs and Russians so the Russians are of, of course actually uh, Christians I think Orthodox or what's I don't know the the, the 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 Russians are actually Christians so they practice their religion the Kazakhs practice their religion but only few people are actually just let's say 10% of Kazakhs are actually very very religious like that are actually very religious so what do you think what is your religion do you think religion is good or religion is